James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? for you, James. See? I'm real. Oh, that's so creepy. Hey, everybody. All right, let's try this out. Welcome to Silent Hill 2. Uh, I played this game in the fall of 2005 or the spring of 2006 in my buddies uh, Stefan and David's dorm room. Uh, we covered up all the windows and sat in the dark and beat this game over the course of and I have not played it since then. Let's dive in, shall we? Uh, let's check the options first. Uh, brightness level. Here we go. How's everybody doing? There's fireworks going on tonight. I don't know why, but there are here. Uh, yeah, that's, that's all fine. I'm happy with all that. Uh, yeah, that's, I don't want it too easy. Um, 
So while a sequel to Silent Hill 1, not a direct sequel, follows a completely different set of characters, and while the town is the same, a lot of the elements changed between this one. Uh, the combat's a little bit more robust, and there's more... All of the enemies, there's more psychologically driven towards the characters in the game. It's running. Got a lovely urinal POV. premises uh we got this letter from our dead wife um i'm trying to remember there's the ending of this game is affected by the way you treat your character and how often you check uh things like the letter and the picture and other things that you pick up in the game i don't remember how it works so we're probably going to end up with the worst ending My restless dream. See that town. Island. Promised you'd take someday. But you never did. I'm alone there now in a special place. Waiting for you. Alright. Let's get going. Oh, tank controls. I forgot about the tank controls. Ah, forgot about the tank controls. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. We'll try this until it kills us. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. It's going to read the same thing, seriously. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. That right there. All right. I got Fair. a letter. The name on the envelope said... Probably already screwed Mary. over the ending. My wife's name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. A dead person can't write a letter. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. That damn disease. So then, why am I looking for her? Our special Someone place. at the post office is fucking with you, dude. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Does she Said mean nobody a park ever on the lake? of Silent Hill. We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us, staring at the water. Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? And I, I... Oh, there we go. It's so hard to see where he is in that screen. Oh, these tank controls. Okay. We start out the game with a lovely little... Just a walk. I'm gonna walk for a little while. I'm not talking like Shenmue 2 to our walk to the village, but we do walk for a bit. What do we got in the car? Map, need it, want it, gotta have it. All right, let's check that map. Let's map quest this. But we are on the observation deck and our special place apparently is Rosewater Park. It's certainly where we, it's, it's what we've highlighted, so it must be. Surely he knows what he's doing. 
All right. Run. There's the run button. So this game does some things really cool. It doesn't really highlight items in the environment. Uh, what he'll do is he'll turn his head and react to them. He'll look at objects. He'll react to sounds and things like that. Want to look around a little bit. Oh. Run. There's the run. Okay, we're leaving town. We're getting out of here. Fuck this game! Yeah, that should be your first sign, dude. Uh, wait, is that other town Pale Willy? <laughs> Welcome to Pale Willy. All right. God, did I really play this with tank controls back in the day? Oh, I'm terrible at tank controls. There we go. Silent Hill famously makes use of the, uh, the fog to hide loading screens and things like that. Which was just... Uh, a real, a really genius way back in the day. Uh, the first time I noticed it was back in the Turok games. To hide, um, hide loading and enemy pop-in. Don't remember if he has a stamina. Oop. <laughs> See, tank controls. Gotta love them. This game abandons the cult uh, from the first game. It comes back in the third game. I actually have a poster of Silent Hill 3 on the wall over there. Oh. Come on. There you go. In favor of... Like, this is the game that make, that Silent Hill is like, what is Silent Hill about? What does it mean? Is it like your own personal hell? And they kind of never come back to it, which sucks because this is the idea that I love. Like, the cult is cool and everything. Uh, very Stephen King. Uh, Salem's Lot. Not Salem's Lot. No, I'm sorry. Jerusalem's not Lot. Jerusalem's Lot is about a town called Jerusalem's Lot that's the home of a cult that worships this big thing called uh, the Worm, Emperor Worm, or something like that. I don't remember. So these little red things are our save point. Looking at this makes me feel like someone's groping around the inside of my skull or memory card. Oh, look at my lovely face. Oh, so lovely. Oh. Uh, we don't need to save yet. Open this big, creepy gate. Like I said, just a nice, lovely... Leisurely stroll through the fog and the shifting camera angles to start the game out. Ooh, oh, this... Okay, where are we? Okay, we're... It, it is an open area, so let's look around a little bit. Oh, it's a graveyard! Yay! <laughs> it's a graveyard. What was that? By the way, we're playing this on, we're playing the original release on PS2. Uh, it was released. Oh. Excuse me, I... <gasps> oh, I, I'm sorry, I... Don't you know I, not to sneak up okay. on people in a graveyard? I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? I mean, I have this map, but I'm still super lost. Yeah, I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog. My, my dad cup of there's vodka. There's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But. Yes? I think you'd better stay away. This. Uh. I have to have a light town, on so the camera picks up stuff. I wonder wrong how it'll it. look if I turn it off. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it Hold on a dangerous? Second. Let me try something. Maybe. And it's not just the fog, either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. 
I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just... I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. Oh, that's not. not bad. That's not bad at all. I'm going to town either way. But why? They're having a sale I'm looking on milk. For someone. Who, who... Who is it? Someone... Very important to me. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. Our protagonist I, I mean is a my very mother. confused man. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but... I can't find them either. I'm sorry. It's not your no, problem. I, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. Yeah, I noticed the feed was choppy. I'm not sure if it's because of the room that I'm in or what. It's nothing but uh, cement. Super fun. All right. I completely forgot which way we're uh, going. Oh, straight ahead. Awesome. Hopefully I can just use the stream chat on the app and I don't have to have it up on my computer eating up more. Although Sarah's probably upstairs playing on her tablet, huh? Here we go. Yeah, probably. We don't have the best internet. Figured out how to get the app working. Ugh. Okay, there we go. So I was saying, they re-released this game as the Silent Hill HD collection, which had Silent Hill, Silent Hill 2, and I think Silent Hill 3 on it. Um, it was, I'm playing this on the PS2 version for a couple reasons. One, uh, thought I heard something. The re-release is very buggy. Uh, they released some patches for it, but even that barely managed to fix it. Uh, two, they redid, they gave it new voice actors, uh, which is fine. They got, um... They got... No idea, Brent. I'm winging all of this. Oh, who is the... Troy Baker. They got Troy Baker and Laura Bailey do the voices in the re-release. But they did it like a Russian movie dubbing over an American movie where they didn't even, like, erase the old audio. If you listen really closely, you can hear the original dialogue underneath the new dialogue. It's It's terrible. Plus, like, having people that you recognize in a game like this kind of takes you out of it. I prefer having, like, I don't know who any of these people are. Except they're all weird and creepy and fucked up. So. Here, oh, here, here we go. I was just about to say, when are we finally going to get to town? great. Uh, Roy Baker, I actually just started watching a, um, he started a YouTube show with Nolan North, where they play classic video games, like NES, Atari, all that kind of stuff. Very entertaining. It's just them doing voices and goofing off the whole time. Oop, that's a corner. I gotta stop. I need to figure it. <laughs> Retro replay. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Oh, 
robot tank controls. Mm. It's gonna be fun when we're in a hallway with some f fucked up devil nurse. Devil nurse actually sounds like an anime. I might be. Wait, is that an anime that just came out, or am I thinking of something else? That plant looks like a monster with two hands reaching for you. I don't know that there was any reason that they uh, have this super long, uneventful opening. The only thing I can think of, it's just to build tension. Get through here? No. Roadrunner! Roadrunner what? Can't, no, not an interactable? Okay. That, I definitely heard something that time. Hey, we made it to town! Yay! Alright. We gotta go... Right! We gotta go right. I'm good at directions. I'm good at walking. Actually, a tomato truck uh, got in a fender bender right there. That's just a hooker. Nothing to worry about. Just a Silent Hill hooker. For such a shuffling gate, that, uh, that shadow sure got the hell out of here. I remember when I used to live in Milwaukee, we would, uh, by the lakeshore, we would get really foggy nights like this, and I'd just run, oh, see, you saw it, he, watch his head, where was it, uh, I would just wander around at night going, I'm in Silent Hill, it was really stupid, but, ah, see, right there, what is he looking at, I got a health drink, Really, really got to keep an eye on what he's looking at. Oh, there's another one. On Steam? It might be. It got... It came out on this... It came out on PS2 first, because they didn't have any access to the dev kit for the Xbox or the GameCube. And then later on, it was ported to the Xbox with updated... Uh, I think it had updated something or other, and then that got ported back to the PS2. Or the updated version got ported to uh, Windows and then back to the PS2. Save point? Let's save. Oh, wait, health drink. God, they're just throwing health drinks at us. I do not remember this this early on. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds fucking horrifying, Brent. Why would you... Why? Although, <laughs> I do have a, my big sister and I were driving back from watching a horror movie somewhere, and I don't know why we left, did I hear something or was that me? We left town to do it, and we had to drive back into Milwaukee. I think we went to Chicago, going the right way at all. Nope, wrong, wrong thing, I want the map. And so we were driving through the country. Oh, I went completely the wrong way, okay. And, like, there's nothing in the car but the light from the radio. And all of a sudden, my sister's in the passenger seat, and she screams and just smashes her hand against the window and starts freaking out. And I, of course, freak out, and I slam on the brakes. I'm like, what, what? <laughs> she starts laughing. She had seen her reflection in the... Oh, okay, we're not going this way. Hello, uh, hole. How are you? She'd seen her reflection in the window, and... Uh, like, because of the horror movie, she thought it was a ghost and just freaked herself out. And that that's kind of the best. 
Being scared by external things is a lot of fun sometimes, but when you freak yourself out, it's always funny. In the end, it's always funny. Okay, so let's go this way, down Cat Street. No? Okay. Well. I guess we do have to take, uh, Vox Road. I guess I was wrong. Oh, suck it up. notice uh this game has the the nurses and the mannequins that are just legs um they tried to make all the enemies like weirdly creepily sexualized in this game uh in a reference to all of james's and the other characters underlying issues they really got freudy with this shit i love not being able to see where i'm going it just makes me feel so not tense <laughs> um Oh, that, okay, so that's how we know there's somebody, there's an enemy around, there's, there's a radio in here. Uh, that's how we can tell when there's enemies nearby. I think we also get our first melee weapon in here. In this game, I think we get three melee weapons and three guns, and then on New Game Plus, you get extra weapons. Never even tried New Game Plus, so I don't know what they are. I'm pretty sure one of them is Pyramid Head Sword. Oh, hello, Hooker. Not any change. Hey friend, while I'm streaming this using using OBS, can I record it at the same time? Taste my two by four, bitch. Oh, oh wait, I have to remember which button hits. That's not it. Oh, that's not it. Okay. Um, I think it's a combination of buttons. No, that's, that's dance, apparently. There we go. Spank. Spank. Is it dead? What the hell is it? It's not human. What kind of cockroach lady thing. All right, let's climb back out of here. That was a fun little excursion into an alleyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, the radio was this in his pocket, broken? okay. It only tunes into hell. What the? I'd better take it anyway. I might need it. All right. Back to town we go. I'm gonna run headfirst right into a hell nurse, I know it. All right, now let's make our way back to, where was it? Rosewater Park. All right, now let's try Cat Street. Hello, you want to dance? Oh god, Ugh, I forgot to spit at you. Smack it, smack it. Smack it. Oh. There's the button. I found the button. Button, button. Who's got the fucking button? Yes, support. There we go. So, some of the, one of the things about these enemies in this game, um, these ones, uh, is there another one somewhere?
That one sounds bigger. Uh, they, they are meant to... The spitting that that one does is meant to represent um, his wife at the end of her life, dealing, dying from her sickness. Uh, not only like spitting vitriol and insults at James, but like being sick from the cancer and actually throwing up. Uh, the straight jacket is meant to, that has something to do with James. Uh, I don't want to get too much into it because you know, the more we reveal about how the enemies are connected, I feel like the more you reveal about how, or the plot line of the game. Oh, I thought that was a monster. It is a fire hydrant. Now we can get there. How are we on health? Well, the only way to tell your health is the status, how flickery it is. We're not great. It could be better. But, I mean, you know. We could be worse. I'm going to have to talk to Sarah about upgrading our internet. <laughs> Keep an eye out on the side for things. Oh, hello. Get out of <laughs> Ah, okay. No, come on. Smack and smack and oh, get it down. No, no, no. Fucking oh, get. God, they're creepy. See, you gotta make sure they go down all the way. Take it. Take it like a weird monster thing. One more. There we go. How are we doing? That's the map button. That's the map button. We don't need the button. Uh, we're fine, I think. Probably stop running headlong into the fog at full speed. Don't remember if there's a reason to head down Martin Street, so let's check it out. Oh, what? Focusing on something. Health drink! Give me. Give me that vitamin water. He's definitely looking at something. Oh God, Jesus! Get over here, you little bitch. Oh. Where is it? I hate this. Sneaking up one. Me. Oh. Hanging out under vehicles is not where you should be. Oh, come on! Okay, now we got it. Ugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was fun. Ooh, he has seen better days. He's seen better days. Apartment gate key. I don't think we need that yet. Uh, does that look like a face, kind of, to anybody else? Screaming, horrified, fucked up face? It does to me! By the way, um, I think Brent might still be the only one watching, but, uh, check out his Dreams when he's online, Uber Brent. Very knowledgeable guy, very entertaining guy. Uh, if he says check out a game, you should probably check it out. Usually what I do, I haven't been disappointed yet. Although I still don't see the appeal in... What was that robot? Or armored flying suit game from E3? I can't remember, that's how... It looks fun, but I don't care, honestly. 
Okay, you know what? We're gonna nope. We're gonna we're gonna nope that. Ooh, I should check actually. Health wrong button. That's not the health button. Oh yeah, we definitely need that. There we go. I think we go right. Let's check out the pack center. Actually, let's look around. What do we got? We got uh, St. Stella Church. South Silent Hill Fire Station. Ridgeview Medical Clinic. Cafe Texan. I cannot think of a less cafe thing than Texan, but okay. This is apparently the uh, southwest block right over here. Gonzalez Mexican Restaurant. Got a flower shop. Happy Burger and Neely's Bar. Uh, Big J's Grand Market. Lucky Jade Restaurant. Oh, I could go for some Chinese, actually. You know, I can't find any good Chinese here in Green Bay. I had some great Chinese food in Milwaukee. Number one Chinese on Oakland Avenue. Oh, I miss that. Blue Creek Apartment, Woodside Apartments. And Silent Hill Savings Bank. I kind of want to open up a bank just so I can name it Silent, Silent Hill Savings and Loan. Where are you? Where are you? Oh god, they're so... Oh, right in the butt. Damn it, come on, why couldn't I hit it again? Get back here. I must punish you. Damn. Ooh, kick it, kick it, there we go. Oh yay, another one. I hate them when they're crawling, they're so creepy. Oh god! So, okay, can we just run? Oh hey, how are you? How are you? Do you have anything I can take? You. The torn memo pages on the ground. I saw those. Two. They were there, I'm certain. Are these guys gonna come up and bite my ass while I'm reading this? But my friend says he didn't see anything. That's true. Does that mean what I saw was an illusion? But whether that demon that ate human beings was real, or whether it was just some kind of hallucination that my mind dreamed up, one thing I know for sure is that I'm beyond all hope. Might as well bash my brains out on the ground right here. All right, they've got to be up right now, right? Are they just, do they, these ones might just crawl around actually. I kind of want to kill them so I can explore in peace, please. Uh, I don't think we can get box. Can't go any further. Oh god, he's up. He's up. Oh, get him. Get him with your pimp cane. Oh, wrong way. Oh, damn it. Come back to me, my love. Oh, there we go. Right in the butt. There we go. Come on. Oh. Right. No, run away. Eat. Stop reading it. Stop reading the card, please. Okay, that one's down finally. God, we're not doing great. I remember the combat being tough, but uh. <laughs> we had four, and we're back down to one. Yay. What does this one say? I'm going to write everything that I've learned so far. Maybe that will help you somehow. If you're reading this, it means I'm probably already dead a couple inches from here. One I already read? Yes. How about the one right here? It seems they're attracted to light. We get a flashlight later on. And that's why people who need light to see are their net. Right. So, everybody then? 
They also react strongly to sound, so not only does the radio let us know that they're nearby, but it tells them that we are nearby. Yay! If you want to go on living, you'd be better off just sitting in the dark and staying quiet. But even that probably would save you. If you're going to try and fight them, the most important thing to do is relax. It's dangerous to fire a gun while you're all crazy with fear. Take good aim and then squeeze the trigger. Squeeze it, don't pull it. I think most of these creatures can be killed, even if they are tougher than people. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away! Alright, so we have a lovely dead end. And there's definitely one more of these things around somewhere. Um, we're gonna leave that one alone though. Can I call? Can I call somebody? Hold up. Um, Silent... I'll pause it. The Silent Hill game that came out on the Wii, Silent Hill Shattered Memories. I believe it got a PS3 re-release. Very cool game. There's no combat in that game, whatever. It's all, you're unarmed, you've got to get away. That had a cool thing, though, where you had a cell phone in the game, and you would, like, pull up your map on the cell phone, and you could write, like, you could make your own marks on the map. But you could also make phone calls in the game. And if you were clever enough to go to the back of the game manual and look up Konami's helpline and call it in-game, you'd get a message. It was something along the lines of, um, We're sorry. You seem to be calling from Silent Hill. Even we can't help you now. Ugh, that's so creepy. I love it when games do stuff like that, though. Uh, oh, Chinese food place. Okay. That, uh, oh, it's a phone book. Oh, he's looking at something, though. What is he looking at? Handgun bullets, but we don't have a handgun. What's over here? Oh, what's this? What is this? First aid kit! I can give myself... I can aid myself first. All right, where am I going? Uh, let's try this way. The way that we are already going. I think eventually fucking hell pterodactyls come screaming out of the sky to kill us. That sounds bigger than I want to deal with. To be honest with you. That sounds like it's dragging something. What, uh, what other ways do I have to go? I guess we're going straight. Oh, it sounds so creepy. Oh, damn it. How do I get turned around? Is there a quick turnaround button? No, there's not. Yay. Okay, I need to go this way. Oh, hi. Bye. I'm going to leave you alone. I'm not going to fight you if I don't have to. I think this is very, if I'm remembering, I know that was the whole point of first Resident Evil, don't waste your bullets. I do not remember how I played this game, though. Like I said, I was 18, 19. You know, that was, that was the stage where everything was meant to be destroyed in a video game. Happy Burger? Let's check out Happy Burger. Oh, hi! Hello. Oh, do you have anything? Do you have anything? Do you have anything? No? You just got run over by the car, didn't you? You didn't even get killed by the monsters. Where's Happy Burger? Saul Street. Better call Saul Street. And another weird giant wall. Oh, hi. How are you? Hi. I should point out, I did absolutely no prep work. Refresh myself on this game. I don't know where anything is. 
I remember there's a, a like a camper somewhere that has a save point in it, and I think something else. First aid kit, booyah. Nothing can hurt me now, I can just heal myself. Band-aids fix everything. Can I get a burger? I want, hey, I want, is it all day men breakfast menu? Oh, I got no. All right, we're just gonna wander around town for a while, I guess. Oh god. He's actually, he has a mental illness. These are all just college kids passing out pamphlets. Just seeing them as monsters. And we're coming up back where we came into town. So we've made pretty much a full loop. Oh. Go away. I had been considering doing this game because uh, I finished. I wanted something kind of tense and scary to follow up. Last of Us, which I finished, I just haven't finished uploading them yet. Uh, I've been considering doing this one. Uh, I decided I'm going to do, because I can't play Detroit, I'm going to do, and I have been doing. What's that? Help drink? Thank you. Uh, Beyond Two Souls, which is also by Quantic Dream. Uh, same development team that did. Get in here? What were you looking at? Same development team that did Detroit Become Human. Very fun game. Willem Dafoe is uh, at his Willem dafoe -iest. Can I just jump this? No. No? Okay. But I figured I wanted to try out which I've done a little bit of streaming on YouTube before. Not much. Uh, I think actually the first thing I did for my YouTube channel, I streamed on YouTube. Um, which was the Secret of Mana remake. But I, that was the very... Not the reason I started the channel. The reason I started the channel was to force myself to play... Where the hell am I supposed to go? Force myself to play... Evil Within, because I've had it for years and I wanted to play it, and I couldn't make myself do it. Uh, clearly, got there. Let me see. I'm gonna pull up. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to try to avoid using it, but I am going to have a walkthrough ready to go. Because I'm sure I'm going to need it. Bear with me a moment. Uh, Rhode Island is neither a road nor an island. Discuss. Making for great internet television, isn't it? Quiet Mountain. Did I actually typed in mountain? Quiet Mountain 2. Still pissed off about not getting Silent Hills uh, with Norman Reedus, by the way. Konami's made some shit decisions in the last couple years. Okay, I kind of have an idea. I'm going to need to pull that back up really quick, probably. Uh, Sanders Street has something I want to check out. Not for any important crap, just for in-game purposes. Hello there, Jehovah's Witness. I'm, 
Not gonna be surprised if I'm running in the wrong direction. I'm not, okay. Ooh, hello, goodbye. Stay away. That's the burger joint. Bell sounds so angry. Why did I do to make him so angry? Aha, uh -huh, can't hit me. I'm the gingerbread man. Actually, I'm James, but... Same thing. Kind of. Oop, don't get, don't get caught on the objects. There we go. Okay. Bear with me while I wander around this town of monsters. I... Bye. Love your outfit! Okay, we need to get to Ball Street. The opposite direction that I was in. Damn it, I knew it. Okay. That's where the trailer that I was talking about is. I think there's something important. I'm really just glancing at that walkthrough. But it's either that, or we can spend the next two hours wandering around the fog until I have to go to bed. I don't think anybody wants that. What was he looking at? Where is it? This? Garbage? No? What were you looking at, bud? I saw him look at something, right? I guess not. Alright, Saw Street. Let's find that freaking... We just must not have gone far enough down. Because I'm pretty sure we went down that way. Hello, goodbye. Hello, goodbye. I don't want your free samples. Well, that's a dead end. Shit, where are we? Oh, okay. Again, uh, if it's super leggy, I apologize. Oh, when we moved here, we got the internet we could afford, and we have not discussed upgrading it since then. Well, I've discussed it, but only with myself. Not with, you know, the person who actually makes all the money. Here we go. In here. Yes, we have another save point. We've performed so badly up to here. I don't, is it worth saving up? Well, no. Here, we're gonna stick to our rule of four. Four saves. God, I hope I have I have enough room on this memory card. You have four saves, and then you rotate through them. That way, if you fuck up too badly, you can always go back. All right, what's this? It's a memo lying on the sofa. It's not a memo. It's a note. Only businesses have memos. I'll wait at Bar Neely's. Neely's Bar. Okay. Named after Neely Street, I'm assuming. I copied it onto my own map. I'm good at copying. Not good at art class, though. That. Was that, <laughs> that sound lag from my controller? To the bar! Speaking of which. Hmm. Speaking of Liquid Courage, a game that I would love to do. I just can't get my hands on it. And if anybody has a copy and they'd like to let me borrow it, feel free to let me know. Um, Eternal Darkness. Sanity's Requiem. One of my top five GameCube games. One of my top games of all time. I love that game so much. I want to do it so badly for the channel. 
awesome time, like, traveling through time, Cthulhu, Mythos, uh, weird magic. Decent combat and scary for a GameCube. Scary for any game, but for GameCube, it came out on. Zelototh. It's the door that we go through. No. Where are they? They're coming. They're coming for me. Okay, I think we gotta go around the other way. Don't spit on me, please. I got the bar, right? It told me to go to the bar. Right here. Can I get through? Oh, can I get in between the buildings? There we go. Hello to all two of you out there. Oh god, this is so dark. Oh, is this a new map? There's a map here. This map, whoever owned this map, they did not go well. Okay, um, so let's circle the... It looks like where the trailer was on Saw Street, the bar that we're at. I don't, I don't know what all the X's are for. And a path through to Rosewater Park, maybe? Gotta go through the apartments. I remember those apartments, at least at the beginning of the game, being the scariest freaking thing. Yeah, that's where we're headed. Because uh, it's dark, you don't have a flashlight, and this game has a really cool thing where... Will it let me do it here? Okay, there's enough light. If you're in an area where it's dark, or you don't have a flashlight, you can't look at your own map. Nope, still gonna let me do it. I thought I saw something glinting, but it appears to be, uh, is board. I'm assuming there must be nails in it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I thought it would have been something else, because the, the items don't highlight. Nope, that's just something the sound does during the loading screen. Okay. So, to the apartments. Okay, we can get here. It's basically a straight shot. Come to Silent Hill, get your cardio workout. This message brought to you by the Silent Hill Chamber, Silent Hill Chamber of Commerce. Oh, it's a crawly one. A creepy crawly one. Uh, can I get in here? Lock is broken, can't open it. Be the apartments? It is. How do I? How do I get there? You have an apartment key, right? At least through here. No. How about here. Oh, use the apartment gate key. Yeah, come at me through this chain link fence, bitches. I'm safe. I'm sound as a pound. I don't know if that uh, phrase applies here. I'm taking that from... In fact, I'm quite certain it doesn't because I learned that phrase in um, the first Austin Powers movie. So, there's no way, no way that that, uh, that applies here. All right, so obviously go inside. I kind of want to look around, though. Garbage, no use for that. Well, you don't know. One man's garbage is another man's treasure. Finally starting to get used to the tank controls. Yay me. Be good practice for... I've Since they... I've been meaning to do it for a while, but they just announced... Finally announced the release date of the Resident Evil 2 remake. Uh, and I have been wanting to play... The remaster of the Resident Evil 1 remake for quite a while for the channel. I just... I wanted some practice because I'll get stuck on those puzzles forever. 
and I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, but now I have to do it because I want to do two. It's locked. I have the key, don't I? I had a key. How do I get in? Gotta find, gotta find a door. Oh. Gotta be something to... Am I missing? Oh, what's that down there? Is that a garbage bag? I think it's a garbage bag, yeah. Oh, how do I get freaking building? Try this. Is it, is it, is it, is it this easy? It's that easy. See here, let's see if... Oh, we don't have a map, I was gonna say. <laughs> It won't let us look at it, but we just don't have a map of this area. Okay, God, it's so dark. Um, is that a map? That is a map. I might turn the brightness up just a little bit. How do I... There we go. Oh, PS2 menus. Let's try seven. I don't want to make it too bright, because then it's not scary. Although, honestly, the scariest thing is that fucking crawler coming out from underneath the car so far. Did I actually turn it up at all? Yeah, I did. Okay. How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, if, oh, there's a save point. Do we need to, how long has it been since we last saved? Not very long, right? We saved in the... Yeah, we don't... Screw it, let's do it. I don't remember if we saved too much, if that affects the ending. I'm sure it does. If anybody who's watching was at the work meeting we work meeting with me this morning, wasn't that fun? Health drink. All right, head upstairs. I think this is stairs. Is my God? I can't see anything. I'm not even sure if this is. Let me check the capture. Nope, it's just as dark on there, too. Hold on a second. Let me adjust my actual TV, see if that helps. Ignore the fact that I'm raising my hand way up in the air, um, because my TV is on top of another TV. Not help at all. Good. Seems like a good thing to have it on. Oh, there we go. That's a little better. Change the dark level to light. Doesn't seem to make any difference in the capture, so okay. That'll be fun for you guys. I think we're on the second floor. Uh, okay, well, I'm not walking down that way because I can't see what's down there. So we're going this way, I guess. Oh, there's a... Here, can we read the map now? Too dark to read the map. Locked, okay. Playing this on the PS2, like, I realize it's just... I mean, it could have been an intentional decision. That's not a door. Uh... It's so grainy, and it makes it scarier. And that might just be the graphics, or it might be an intentional filter on the graphics. I'm not sure. Oh, I got static. Come on. 
come on, where are you? There you are. Come on. Get it before it spits. Get it before it spits. Oh, get it. Oh. Chase it. Mm, so creepy. Dang. Bad puppy. Oh, God, not down. Oh, I missed. I missed. Hit it, dude. Come on. There. Oh, kick it. Kick it gently. There you go. That's that's gonna do the trick. I turn the. I really need to be able to see what's going on here. Oh, there's nothing brighter. Why is this so dark? My TV might have one of those things where it darkens because I'm playing in a dark area. It darkens the screen. Don't beep at me. Wait, how the computer beep at me? I have it muted. Now I'm starting to freak myself out. What is this? Alright, let's take out this other issue. Oh god, I missed! There we go. Right in the butt. Right in the butt. Come on, go down. Please go down. Okay, seems to be down. What's in here? Got a lovely bathroom. Oh, this this is a weird ass thing, if I recall. Yeah, just a garbage chute with wait for it. There's a trash chute. Some kind of strange garbage. Not normal garbage, it's strange garbage. I can never figure out if it's supposed to be a body or something shoved down the hole. So yeah, strange garbage. But I know we're on the right track because I remember getting the flashlight near the strange garbage. Dark to read the map. Well, where where was a bright area, please? Is it over here? Right here. Here we go. Okay. What do I need to look for? Circle. Why is that circled? Miss something else in here? Besides the strange garbage? I shoot strange garbage stuck in the hole. Can I jab it with the stick? No, I can't. Alright, out. Door? No, that's a weird thing in the wall. Here's a door. One of the, ah, yes, finally. The right room? I think so. Yeah. Ooh, creepy. I think that's got the flashlight on it, though. Okay. One of the things I was talking about, psychological thing. It's just a mannequin with a dress, and it's got the flashlight stuck into it. But if you look really closely at this photo of Mary, you can see she's kind of wearing the same dress. It's kind of hard to tell with the brightness up so high. We're going to turn that back down now because we're about to get the flashlight. Yeah, she's wearing the same dress. So this is, and again, this ties back to later in the game, but this is kind of like, it's fl this thing that's supposed to represent his dead wife is just blasting this light on him as if saying, look at yourself. All right, so I got the fight. Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. <laughs> so here we have the weirdly uh, feminine uh, mannequin leg monster. Get it. Come on. There we go. Okay. Um, another thing. You can see its body is kind of slimy. They were designed so that they look like they have the texture, and I'm not kidding, of a condom. 
Everything in this game is fucked up. In fact, just for fun, let's... Hold on a second. I want to read... The themes. Alright. According to the Wikipedia page for it. The story touches on many mature themes and taboo subjects, including... Morality. Grief. Abuse, physical, se sexual, etc. Suicide, mental illness and mental health, death, trauma, rape, guilt, existentialism, bullying, domestic violence, incest, loneliness, body image, murder, substance abuse, pain and suffering, loss of loved ones, relationship issues, euthanasia, self-loathing, and sexuality among others. I don't quite get the sexuality among others thing, but yeah, that's a laundry list of, um, if you want to like present it in a fucked up way, it gets really fucked up. So, in any case, we've got the flashlight. That's right, we can turn the radio off and they won't come after us, but then we don't know when they're nearby. Beepy. Hello, hand. How are you? I think the fourth hill, the fourth Silent Hill game, I think, Silent Hill The Room, takes place primarily entirely in an apartment. Oh no, I wanted to look in that, I wanted to look in that, go back, I wanted to look in that other room. There we go. Back to that. Hello again, everybody. Bear with me while I fumble my way. Jeff tries to play Silent Hill 2. Not a let's play, it's a try to play. And there's nothing in here. Do I... Does this flashlight run out of batteries? One game that I've had a couple of people request that I replay that I absolutely refuse to play is um, Outlast. Because I can, just, I can just record myself shitting my pants and put that up, and it's the same thing. Exact same outcome. All right, let's explore. Let's head up that other hallway. Oh, oh, get it, get it, get it. Come on. I can totally tell what's going on. Oh God, it's like a fish that, that gets off the hook. Get it. Oh, you little. Come back here. They're trying to catch a fly with a fly swatter. Oh, bitch. I'm gonna run face first into another one. Just hit it. Come on, before it. Oh. <laughs> Got you cornered. No, I don't. Pass it? Where is it? There it is. Oh god! Ah, you me. Eat it! Eat it! Oh, there we go. Drained him. Thank god the static stopped. Where are we? <laughs> In this hallway. We're all the way down there. Okay. Let's check out that trash chute first. Acid? No, we're just not even. Oh, we gotta check out. We gotta check out this last room though. Gotta check every room. Lock is broken. Okay. I already checked this room up here. According to the map, next one should be the stairs. Ooh. Wait, what? Huh? What? Uh, oh, I'm so con <laughs> Okay. I get easily turned around. When I can't see where I'm going. Here we go. Look down here now. Nothing different. Okay. That must be later. Oh, what's this, though? 
That is... That's nothing. Never mind. That's nothing. Must be something later in the game for that. Take a left. Immediate left. Locked. Locked. There we go. What do we got in here? So I am playing this. My game room is set up in my basement. It's old. Uh, you can kind of see behind me. Like, ignore the Christmas lights. It's everything. Kind of looks like a Silent Hill room. Uh, but you occasionally get these weird sounds reverberating through the ground from somewhere. I don't remember this room. Something's something's gonna jump out of me at some from somewhere. Oop! What? This? Henry, Mildred, and Scott. Why is Mildred all zaggy? Okay, so. I think this is a clue for a puzzle. There's no way this is gonna work, but... Who knows? Maybe taking a picture of that uh, pixelated ass screen will help me at some point. Oh! There's writing on the clock. The scars from the past shall remove the nail that stops time. Will you push the clock? I can't push it yet. Right? Yes, I can't. Ah, uh, okay. Henry Mildred Scott, that's the... Okay, let's look around a little bit, the room a little bit more first. Um, those are the, the hands... Hour, minute, second. Henry Mildred Scott. Yeah, that's the hands of the clock. Nothing unusual about it, except it looks like it's like 50 years old. I mean, this game came out in 1999, I think, but it's still, or at least development started in 1999, but it still looks like it's 50 years old. Can I read these newspapers? No? One of these rooms in one of these apartment buildings references the, uh, a serial killer who features prominently in Silent Hill 4 room. That's where we came in, I think. Here we go. Where's that clock? So, what was it? It was... So the hour is about nine. Minute, uh, what is that, like two? And the second is three. them. Oh, we need a... Okay, we need a key. Don't know where we get the key from. But that's how we solve that puzzle later on. Back out into the hallway. And that's a super dead end. Oop. Oh, oh, we went around the turn without realizing it. Okay, good to know. Ah, I see, and we have our little, uh, got our little clock puzzle sign there. Let's check out these other rooms. check that room oh that's the room where we got the flashlight okay I think maybe I don't remember in any case we were already in there big ass fire alarm 
Mm. Okay. That's in here. Looking at something. What is he looking at? That. What is that? Handgun bullets. Oh god! In the closet with the leg monster. Turn around, smack it. There we go. Oh, it's still up. Get it, get it in all of its crotches. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Trapped in the closet with a leg monster. That's an R. Kelly song, right? What else is in here? There's a couple doors just lying on the floor. A lot of nothing, it looks like. Okay. So this room is just kind of a trap, apparently. Oh, wait. In the yes, we were. Does it look kind of like there's... No, that's just the latch. I'm assuming it's the latch on the door. Ah, tank controls. Switching cameras. Damn it. There we go. That appears to be a wall of some kind. Oh, another bathroom. Okay. A lot of bathrooms for this tiny little apartment. Nothing. Map say. Okay, it looks like we've been in everything in here. I think. Is there a thing? Nope, that's the cabinet handle that I'm looking at. Oh, there is another room. Okay. We got here. More handgun bullets. So many freaking handgun bullets. Are those all bullet holes? Or is that the wallpaper? Okay. Nope. Oh. Difficult to tell what's going on with a fixed camera angle. The other bathroom, correct? Yes. Back out to the hallway. Oh. There's the door. The door is gone. Oh no, the Oh, there it is. Hello, I see you there. You ever dance with James Sutherland in the hallway with a board with nails on it? And there we go. Thank you. Locked. At every door? Looks like it. Here. Lock is broken. We've got. Okay, are we missing something maybe? Must be. Oh, 
Oh, there's another stairwell. All right. Hold on one second. Uh, I'm gonna we're gonna check out that stairwell, but I want to double check the walkthrough, and I need to get a refill. Take a break. Entertain yourselves. Be right back. Actually, you probably see me wandering around over there. Ah, oh, dang it. All right. Dashboard back up. Sorry about that. Let's check out this creepy stairwell. I'm assuming it's creepy. We... Damn it. Okay. Um... Back to the first stairwell then, I guess. Actually, hold on. No, I'm almost positive we're supposed to do that stairwell. I'm so good at these games, you guys. Wait. No, never mind. I don't know what one it is. We'll just do the other one. Who cares? That is... Almost there. The good news is, this floor is free of infestation. Oh, get it, come on, get, there we go. You can do it, James, you can open that door. Sounds like fun. All right, do we have a map? We do. Check out 301 and 302. 
Oh, especially since oh, there's a key. Oh. Can I pick it up? Can I reach it? Oh shit! What's gonna happen? <laughs> Something's gonna happen, right? <sighs> oh, maybe not. <laughs> Ow! Oh, it's a fucking hey, kid. Damn it! Oh yeah, this kid. Um, fun fact. They actually got a little girl to do the voice for that character. And when you can get little kids to do the voices of little kids, it always makes it way creepier. What is he looking at? Oh, he's just looking at the door. Okay. So much better than having a adult pretend to be a freaked out kid. And it doesn't sound like breathing at all. Lock is broken. Refresh the chat real quick. Bear with me. This is, like I said, this is our my first time actually testing out all this stuff. Oh god, what is all that? Oh, that's a gun. Oh, those are bull <laughs> there's bullets all over the floor. Yay. Good things happened here. Um that's wrong. Can't tell if we're actually hurt or it's just the room is red on our status. Uh, we have 10 rounds in there, 30 bullets. We're going to stick with our, uh, our wooden stick for the time being, our 2x4. That, is that a thing? Walls pockmarked with gunshots. Yay. Okay. There's some cowboys in here. Lock is broken. We did manage to get a shopping cart. Lock is, yeah, the lock is broken. It looks like it's been blasted completely off the door by the looks of it. It would make me think it's it's broken in a way that I could open it, right? Apparently not. But we've got a new toy. So, back out into the hallway of doom. Yeah, that's not breathing at all. I'm sure it's just the ventilation. What am I supposed to do now? Hmm. Definitely somebody else in here. You can hear it on the you can hear the, the radio starting to go. Pull that walkthrough back up real quick. Cause we're I think we're getting near the two hour mark. I'm gonna have to find a save point. Yes, uh, no, it looks like we go back down to the second floor now. Here's that. How's everybody's summer doing? God, we're halfway through it almost. It's gonna be 4th of July in like a week. That's insane. Wrong button. Can we take a poll, an unofficial poll? Like, should I just rename everything to wrong button? Wrong button gaming. Get t-shirts printed up. 
And then to buy the t-shirts, you, you don't hit the buy button, you hit the cancel. The wrong button. Mm -hmm. All right, second floor. That's not the second floor. This the second floor, this is the second floor. It's locked, what floor am I on? I made it down to the first floor, apparently. I need to pay more attention. Oh, oh tank controls. So far, still less stressful than the final level from Psychonauts. And an hour trying to record that episode last... No, like, an hour, two hours trying to record that episode last night. Just super fun. All right, is there any... What can we do? I wonder if we can do the... No, we don't have a key f Oh, can I shoot the clock open? Can I shoot the clock open? Way is the hallway. Okay, good. Going the right way. Going the right way. Getting to go down the hallway. What? North? Oh, well, the game would have told me anyways. Awesome. You know what I like about this era of gaming is there's absolutely no hand-holding. Like, you literally just have to kind of wander around until something happens. Something happens. Oh, good God, what is that? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. You have fun. Oh, I think that was a pyramid head. Oh, okay, things have moved. Shit, 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 shit. There. There, dude, Matt. Oh, there's a guy in the chair. Okay, what, what are you looking at? Oh, well, that's the... Oh. Either I look at the guy, and he jumps up and eats me, or I pick up the key, and the guy jumps up and eats me. Um... How did his face get so blurry? Who could have? Well, I'm, clearly he moved. He's nearsighted. He moved the TV up, and the poltergeist told him to kill himself. There he. Pick it. Take the key. Take it. Come on. Just pick it. Pick it. Um, see me pushing the. Pick it. Why can't I? There we go. What key was that? <laughs> I was hitting the button too much. I didn't see what it was. Why won't it? Oh, there we go. I was going to say, why won't it let me pause? 202. We got it in room 208. So not, not the clock key. Just want to make sure. All right. You seem okay for now. Unlock? No, good. I really, I don't want to go in there. Be honest with you. It was 202, right? Yes. Where's room 202? From here. Excuse me. That way. Yay. I keep forgetting to keep that window up. I apologize. I hope everybody's having fun. On the off chance that you're not having fun, my buddy Tyler is, I believe, currently streaming Fortnite. Check him out under the incredibly stupid name of, I think it's Killa Tilla Illa or Killa Illa Tilla. It's, in any case, it's very stupid, but he's not a half bad Fortnite player, even if he is playing on PS4. You can also catch him in uh, playing A Way Out with me on my YouTube channel. Uh, we just finished that, and I should be uploading the final video on Monday. 
I know, I don't know if Brent is still watching, but he has been waiting for us to finish that game for uh, quite a while now, so he could talk to, talk about it. Two o two. All right, coming up. That, oh, it's just one of the ones I already killed. Okay. Use the key. Go inside. It's a closet. I hate that you can never see anything. I don't hear any static, so I feel safe. I feel secure. I feel, ooh, I feel health bottle. Oh, that's a very red drink. That reminds me of the Red Room in Evil Within, where you first run into the invisible guys. Okay, um, I was... Okay, we were, we were not doing great. We're doing better now. It was, in fact, our low health and not just... I not? I can't? No. Apparently it's just a red light, okay. We have two open doors, more red lights in there. Ma oh, there are moths around my flashlight, okay. And what appear to be ki chicken cages, chicken wire cages. Okay, let's not go in the red room first. Red room, red room! Is this, this bathroom is bathroom is gated off with what appears to be chicken wire. Okay. And that one's broken. Yeah! <laughs> Go in the red room. Uh, uh, uh. I'll smash you. Oh, whoever you are, I'll smash the shit out of you. Oh, what the fuck is that? What? what? The body of a dead butterfly is on the ground. There's nothing else of interest in here. Oh, fuck. There's a hole in the wall, though, and a door. With a bunch of green sludge. Um, too dark to tell for sure, but I think there's something on the other side of this hole. It's a demon glory hole. Stick their barbed dick, barbed dicks through there. Will I investigate? I ain't. Dick spear right through the eye. Huh? <gasps> It's all gross and yucky. It's like when you're swimming in a lake and like you feel some seaweed and you're like, ah, something touched my foot. Ah, <gasps> we got the clock key. Awesome. Okay, what's in here? Uh, nothing. Okay, there's totally gonna be something in the other room now, right? Oh, there's more in here. Okay, what else is? I really, really, really don't like that sound. Apparently this is just a... M I don't know what that is, but this is just a moth lover's place of some kind. Alright, let's get out of here. Out of here before shit goes south. Um, clock is it's up here, right? Yes. <laughs> having fun, everybody's having fun. I'm having so much fun. I hear static. I think I hear static. I definitely hear. Oh, that's right. It's the TV. Um. Still chilling. Okay. So what? What 
was it? Uh, this was a bathroom, was it? No, this was not a bathroom. This is the clock room. Okay, this is where we want to be. Right here. Here we go. So the hour is nine, the minute is two, and the second is three. That dude's coming to life now, right? Right? Uh, okay. Use the clock key. Do I, do I have to I have to go into the menu and use it don't I this game is weird about things it, it sometimes it makes you okay yeah, sometimes it makes you actually go in and use it what do you mean I can't use it it's right here use the damn key do I have to be like in it There we go. I wasn't standing in the right place. <laughs> Video game rules are fun. Shh. The dead guy in the other. Chill. All right. I I forgot what it was. Um. Okay. Well, the the second hand is stuck. So I think we just need to worry about this. Was it? It was like that, right? Double check. A little bit over nine. That's about two. Yeah, I think we're good. Try pushing it now. Nope, not quite. Okay. Must have to make some adjustments. Shh. Be doing a lot of guessing here. Guys from the past shall remove the nail that stops time. Unless I'm completely reading this riddle wrong. Try it right on. No? Okay. You know what? Yeah, I, I'm, I don't care about looking up, double checking it. We figured out, I figured out the riddle on my own. Like it's apparently, it's just, you have to have it just right, okay? And it doesn't give me any specifics that have to be in the same place. Thank you, game, that's, that's what I, so we just we literally have to keep fiddling with it until it perfectly matches uh, the wall. So let's look again. Henry, a little over. Okay, yeah. Henry, a little over nine. Mildred, a little around two. So let's try before two. Let's try. Let's try just before two. Oh, I had the fucking wrong... I can see that there's one viewer. And I don't know to be upset that you didn't point out that I had the hour and the minute hands mixed up. 
or applaud you for, like, letting me just make a fucking idiot of myself. <laughs> In any case, bravo. There we go, right there. Good on you. That's that's for some entertaining shit. I I I'm more than happy to be the butt of my own joke. Also, I'm an idiot, so I mean I can't fault someone else. Ooh, secret doorway. This is how we get past that gate. Your save point. I totally expected there to be a dude in the corner there. Okay, we've got a door. We've got a window. An empty-ish room. Another door. Where are we? Next apartment? Next apartment. This, this goes out to the hallway, I'm assuming. So let's check in here. No static. I like that. That goes out to the hallway. Where does the door go then? Doesn't go anywhere. Good to know. Oh, save point. Okay. Look around and then we're going to save. And then I do have to work at 9 a.m., so we're going to call it for the night. But, uh,. I'm hoping to do this at least every Saturday and then one other night a week. It'll take a little while to figure out. Sarah's starting her new job. I'm still adjusting my new schedule. Okay. So yeah. There's nothing here. After that incredibly embarrassing showing with the clock puzzle, we're going to call it here. I hope everybody watching enjoyed. Uh, I will try to be less stupid next time. Hopefully the... Uh, video feed isn't too choppy, but I am recording this. It will be uploaded in normal speed without any choppiness, with any luck, uh, to my YouTube channel, Jeffrey Gaming. So have a good night. Enjoy your, the rest of your weekend. I'll catch you later. Save number four.